Welcome to the lecture SAP planning for order management. This content is designed by myyug.com. If you are taking this class from a reputed site, you should be able to message back or get back to us if you have any questions. What is SAP planning? What are the things included in planning? Planning has few components. Planning preparation, cost center planning, internal order planning, other planning activities. We we'll learn few of these steps in this session. Planning preparation. This process enables you to prepare a planning session for personal cost planning. The management usually provides guidelines for coming cost planning review once a year as personal cost planner, you implement these specifications in the system in planning context and planning scenarios. So what happens like each and every company they have their own standards and methods of planning. For example, how much extra hours of factory workers needed for this year or for this period. Or how much bonuses we owe or we anticipate employees will earn in this particular year. So we'll set aside cost for each proposed budget or each proposed investment, each proposed projects. So all those will have any anything which has cost implications. Usually companies try to plan ahead of time. That is at the beginning of a year. So they know they have a parameter set. So that's that's how you call preparation. In SAP, how the preparation flows, the management defines the guidelines for cost planning. That's the first thing. Like what are the guidelines? So we can we can stimulate that in SAP. For more information, we you can go to IMG Nord and uh, see what are the planning scenarios available. We can define which additional and dependent cost items the system is to create for each planning contest. You define for each planning scenario how the system is to evaluate cost items. So you can go to IMG Nord. I have specified the path and uh, see how how and what SAP provides for uh, as, as far as process flow is concerned. Internal order planning. As we spoke in the master data and uh, on basic lectures, internal order is a tool or internal project for specific purpose. So in this planning, you enter costs, activities and business processes that you expect to incur during the life cycle of an order. For example, there is an advertisement campaign and you anticipate that advertisement campaign to remain active for three years. So you'll plan cost each year, like for example, 2015 will have this much cost, 2016 will have this much cost, 2017 will have this much cost. So three years ahead of time, you plan for that particular order or particular project. Then using this planning, you can compare plan and actual cost for that specific advertisement campaign and carry out a differentiated variance analysis and see what are the variances if you spend more or if you spend less. If you spend more, why did you spend more? Is market condition? Is it is it you hire high high end staff or technology change? So all that stuff come into picture when you do analysis. You can plan individual internal orders and groups with the same order tie. For example, you have advertisement campaign for different like you have radio, TV, internet and you want to plan what are the what are the costs associated with each each order type or you can group it together okay media advertisement you can you can differentiate like newspaper radio or internet or you can club it together and say okay media advertisement so in that way also you can plan in internal order planning cost and planning what is the essentials of cost and planning 
Cost center planning involves entering plan figures for cost, activities, prices, or statistical key figure for a particular cost center and planning period. You can then determine the variances from these figures when you come to compare these plan values with cost actually incurred and take appropriate action. What does this mean? Each cost center will have their indi individual planning. For example, a cost center you created for an engineering department, you wanted to know how much cost we plan at the beginning of the year, how much actually they spend, what are the activities they performed, and what are the revenues they, they generated. So in that way, you can take appropriate action if somebody is spending or somebody is overspending or somebody is underspending. Cost center planning forms part of overall business planning process and prerequisite for product costing, which is another module. To plan the cost activities, SKF, you need a planning layout using which enter the plan figures. Anything we plan in SAP, we do it in a layout. For example, in a, where you plan, in general, if not SAP, we take a spreadsheet and enter, okay, engineer department, labor department, finance department. You, you, you create appropriate column in your spreadsheet. Similar way in SAP, you have a spreadsheet type layout where you enter plan values. Cost center layouts. The standard planning layouts provided by SAP record the values in controlling area currency. If you need to enter the values in other currency, for example, you want to enter the currency as company code currency, you can create your planning layout, assign it to the planning profile. So a planning profile is a cluster of various planning layouts and utilities. You can enter the plan venues manually, or you can upload through them Excel or using tools like LSMW, which is a standard SAP upload tool. So there is a couple of options available. You plan in your, in your spreadsheet and compile it and load it in SAP. That's an easiest and I have seen a lot of companies do that. Cost center planning. To plan the structure, the organization future operations for a clearly defined time period, you should define performance targets and target achievement grades. You must consider the internal and external factors affecting your organization. That's how you plan a structure. To control business methods within the current settlement period, for example, if you have a settlement period monthly, this ensures that you keep as closely as possible to the plan. Planning lets you adapt the target performance to reflect any changes in the organizational environment. To monitor efficiency, after completion of settlement period, for example, after a month end, if you have, if that is your settlement period, using the plan and actual. So whatever you plan and whatever your actual or target or actual comparisons to provide a basis of valuation of organizational activities, independent of random fluctuations. So in that way, you know how much you spend, what you get, and did you overspend or did you underspend? That's how cost center planning help us to determine. Other planning activities. You create planning activity in order to carry out mass processing of following actions like forecasting, copying key figures from one information structure to another, executing macros, transferring data to demand management, transferring data to profitability analysis. This is an overview of SAP planning. We'll be following with the demo. We'll be looking for a few things in uh, demo how it works. This content is again designed by myyuk.com. If you are listening to this lecture from an appropriate website, you should be able to get back to us if you have any questions related to planning. We'd, we are always helpful answering questions and any doubts for the students if you have. Thank you for attending this lecture. SAP planning